Welcome Climate Viewers to the Climate Viewer 3D tutorial at climateviewer.org. My name is Jim Lee. Today I'd like to teach you how to use Climate Viewer 3D in five short minutes. First off over on the left hand side we have plus and minus to zoom in and out. In the middle this will reset the zoom back to default. And at the bottom you can switch between the views such as flat mode, Columbus mode, and back to 3D. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is choose your base globe. I have it set by default to an aerial view which has satellite imagery of cities and states. If you want to change that you can go over to base globe and change to many different versions of the globe such as the National Geographic, a street view, ESRI shaded view, and as you can see, there are many different options here. Bing Arial um, from Microsoft. In addition to that, you can go down here to the bottom. And if you want to see um, 3D terrain, you can turn that on by clicking here. And that will actually bring up mountain ranges and stuff so that you can see them in 3D. Pretty impressive stuff. And finally, 3D terrain with water mask. And this will actually show the ocean with running water and such. Alright, so now that you've chosen your base globe, I'm going to hit the fly back home button. And up at the top, the top three layers are all live layers. You could toggle this sidebar by clicking here and get rid of that. Under alerts, you have categories like air quality, earthquakes, fire, smoke, and volcanoes. We'll check a couple of those. We have earthquakes, the 2.5 plus earthquakes. You can see that those are now on the map. They show up all around the globe. If you click on this list, which right here is a little tree marker, that'll uh, toggle the tree in and out. And you can click on those and fly to earthquakes around the globe. This is Hawaii currently near the Kilauea volcano. And you can click on any one of these markers and it'll tell you all about it. And then if we wanted to actually see the active volcanoes, we can click right here. You can see right here, this is the Kilauea volcano. Report May 16th through the 22nd, 2018. And you can see the earthquake swarm around the volcano. Pretty cool stuff. We also have things like NOAA buoys. And what that'll allow you to do is actually track for tsunamis. So all across the globe, and I'm going to go to the black map just so that we can see these more easily and turn off the water mask. And you can see all of the buoys in the ocean, and these allow you to look at um, wave heights. So you'll see that some of these have observational data, and you can see how high the waves are. Um, this is a great way to track earthquakes plus tsunamis. So if you see a massive wave increase, you're going to see a tsunami. Very fascinating stuff. Now I've got a lot of stuff on the map. I want to reach up here to the trash can and that will clear all the layers off the map. And there's a collapse button right here. If I click that, it'll close all of the layers back to the start. And we can jump into the satellite section. So right here at the top, I'm clicking NASA satellites, visual corrected reflectance, and the very top one. And this one has a couple different options to it. As you can see, there's sliders right here. You can toggle them on and off like that. And it says choose imagery date. So currently it's showing May 27th, 2018. If I choose this and I hit May 8th, it's gonna reload the image and show you the image for that day. As you zoom in, it will get sharper. So that's how these work. Um, you can also adjust the sliders on this to make them opaque so you can see through them. As you can see here, pretty fancy stuff. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation. Contrast makes it sharper or uh, brightness makes it brighter, contrast makes it sharper, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. Saturation is the color, so you can make it black and white, or very colorful. Um, and of course, all of this will be remembered if you click the sharing link. So if you click the sharing link like this, and you go and you share that with a friend, it's gonna turn that layer on, remember where the sliders were, and share that with a friend. It'll add it to the shared layer section up here at the top. And that's what we're doing with Climate Viewer 3D. It allows you to quickly share a whole bunch of layers and overlay them together. Now, as you can see, there are many different options on here. You have things like sea surface temperature, which will allow you to see the temperature of the ocean, 
Um, lots of NASA satellites. I've included the entire NASA Gibbs library now. Let's say we wanted to look at rain and uh, lightning. We go to alerts. We're going to come down here to precipitation and radar. We're going to turn on the next rad radar. As you can see here, this is the Ridge 2 mosaic. And we can go to lightning and click on lightning strike density. And you can actually see it highlight where lightning currently is occurring in orange here. And you can, of course, use the sliders on that as well to see the difference. So I turn the rainfall down. I turn this, the lightning down. You can see how this works. Now, all of these sections right here are maps that I've created. Um, you can see things like in the atmospheric sensors and EMF sites, uh, the high frequency active auroral research program. For that, I'm going to go to ESR, or I'm going to go to Bing Aerial. So I turn on the satellite view, and when I click on high frequency active auroral research program, it's going to fly me to the site, and uh, you can see that in 3D here. If you click on any of the markers, it's going to bring up information on it, like 180 antennas at 2.8 to 10 megahertz and 3.6 million watts. Links and details galore in these. Climate change, energy, and pollution has things like map of environmental disasters, fracking wells all over America, um, you know, the Pacific Ocean garbage patch. Uh, things like that that you know I find interesting I find to be real climate change that we can fix today fracking America anything with a red icon is a very large file it may take some time to download you'll see that it's spinning and then it'll load up in the geoengineering and weather modification section you can also see the ionospheric heaters global weather modification projects cloud seeding generators from Idaho power Santa Barbara, California, Carson Walker River Basin, Humboldt River Basin, Grand Mesa, Colorado, Central Colorado, Rocky Mountains, and what you end up seeing is a whole lot of cloud seeding generators and weather modification all across the western United States, plus all of the NOAA reported weather modification activities. Next up we have government and surveillance. Five Eyes Stone Ghost Network. These are spy facilities all over the world, such as the Aerospace Data Facility Colorado, um, the Utah Data Center. This is where Hillary Clinton's deleted emails are stored, as well as every single text message, phone call, and email in the world. These are part of the Five Eyes, and what I also did was map the underwater sea cables that they tap to listen to all of our communications worldwide and as you can see where the lines match up there pretty much is a listening facility so this is not a coincidence this is how they track everything we do and uh, the surveillance state is strong you can also see Department of Homeland Security fusion centers UAV drones over America um, and fly around to those know your drones um, click on that thing and you can actually see all of the different types of drones that are available in America uh, very fascinating stuff once again uh, next to the little tree icon is an information icon it has a little eye if you click on that it'll show you where this information came from uh, it'll say things like created by Jim Lee map of drone operations resulting from FOIA requests links to those FOIA requests military documents on it more info link there's a google fusion table data source this is a geojson layer some of these are google earth kml layers you can actually download these a share link just for that map and of course if you have any problems with any of these maps you can report errors by clicking right here and it'll pop up an email that you can send to me and let me know in the nuclear explosion section we have 2053 nuclear explosions as well as all 440 nuclear reactors worldwide. This nuclear explosion test map is huge. So I'm going to zoom back out real quick and we can take a look at that. Things like down over here in Nevada, the Nevada test range where we were testing nuclear explosions. As you can see, there are many of them and some of them were done up in the air, like Starfish Prime. Uh, the largest of which was over the Pacific Ocean, right about here. And you can see that that was way up in space. Also, you can see things like the Chernobyl meltdown, which I mapped in 3D, radiation levels and all that. 
the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown, radiation levels and all that. Um, North Korean nuclear test mountain collapse, all the uh, detonations and uh, earthquakes that occurred around Kim Jong-un's nuclear test site. Stuff you're not going to find anywhere else. Other interesting maps, flight routes across America, and uh, this is the you know flight lines in the sky, the grid patterns we all see. And like I said, some of these are better viewed in black, so we'll do that. And as you can see, there's your grids, people. Lots and lots of grids. These are only the international flight um, lines from major flight uh, destinations. There are many, many more. I will collect them all. I hope to have flight tracking back on Climate Viewer 3D in the near future. You can also see the ICAO flight navigation aids, VORs, uh, world major airports, Native American lands, Malaysian airline shoot down, pyramids of the world. This is another fascinating map that shows you all of the pyramids of the world. And you can see where they kind of line up along this red line. So fascinating stuff, only found on Climate Viewer 3D. Um, another good example, we're gonna go to Bing Ariel real quick, and I'm gonna go to Mountain Climbing Expedition, Hillary's 1953 Mount Everest climb, and we're gonna fly to that bad boy real quick, and you can actually see how they climb the mountain in 3D. Too cool. This is Climate Viewer 3D. It allows you to see many, many different things, overlay different dots, connect the dots, and see how it all relates. Uh, this is your world, and knowing is half the battle, so that I hope that you guys will get involved in this and give it a shot. It's not too hard. The only thing that is required is a uh, HTML5 compatible browser and WebGL. So you need to have a 3D video card that supports OpenGL or WebGL, and this is completely free of charge. I will be making a mobile version of this for the people who don't have 3D support or have like weak telephones. In the near future, I'll be bringing that back. Please support my work on Patreon via GoFundMe or PayPal. As I said, everything I've done for the last seven years building this and working on these maps is free of charge. I would greatly appreciate your support. Um, instructions can be found down here at the bottom of the page. Click on that. And this video you're watching now will be right here, along with instructions on what all the buttons do right here, what's required for cesium to work. Um, you know, I suggest you use Chrome or Firefox. It works best. Latest updates, as you can see, I just added 200 new layers to this. And of course, everything that I did is open source. You can see my GitHub. Go over to climateviewer.com slash about and get in touch with me. So that is the Climate Viewer 3D tutorial. I hope that you guys will try this out. It's not that hard. Um, just get in there, click around. Again, my name is Jim Lee. Um, I'm from Sumter, South Carolina, and I did all this because... I'm doing my good turn, and I hope that you will do your good turn by sharing Climate Viewer 3D. Sharing is caring, and I do appreciate your support, and remember to attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to ClimateViewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.